Fighters, today on the show, I'm going to talk to you about goal setting. I know many of you have set goals for the new year, as you should, and you have these hopes of this being your best year ever, like all the promotional things in the world say. Make 2023 your best year ever. Anyway, today on the show, guys, I'm going to give you about five things I've learned about goal setting that I really believe, if you take to heart, will give you an edge when it comes to achieving the things that you want. Let's go. All right, first thing I want to say here is I do not set New, Year, New Year's resolutions. <laughs> okay, I'm not a New Year's res resolution guy. I set goals throughout the year. Of course, I have a goal for every new year in different areas of my life, but I'm, a, I'm the type of person who just sets a lot of goals, tweaks, measures, and increases the goals through the years and things like that. So, um, you know, most of society, you guys, um, they set goals on, on New Year's Eve or whatever it is, and they kick off the new year. And within a few short weeks of the new year, they've tapped out. And there's some crazy stat that like only 6% uh, or something like that of people that set New Year's resolutions even stick them out. Um, I know my, my percentage is probably wrong, but it's pretty fucking low. All right, so um, I wanna share some things with you guys here today that have um, really been instrumental in what I've been able to do in my life and my career, and just some kind of high level concepts here for you guys to chew on. And I encourage you to implement some of these things. Um, the first is when I set goals, um, I, um, I wanna make them extremely challenging, okay? Um, and for example here, I'm just, I'll get real with you guys, all right? Um, the fight is currently a multi-million dollar coaching company. We serve home improvement contractors, commercial contractors, um, all over the world in our programs and our coaching and our speaking and workshops. Um, however, hardly any of our revenue, okay, comes from speaking fees. Okay. Now I, I speak a handful of times a year outside of our own events. And, um, in 2023, I have set the goal to add another $500,000 of revenue to our company just through my keynotes, my virtual talks, and my, my workshops that I deliver personally, okay? Um, now, we've never done, I've never done more than 100 grand, even though we're a multi-million dollar company, I've never done more than 100 grand a year in, in speaking. I don't even think we've ever hit 100 grand if, I, if I'm honest about it. Um, and so far at the time of this recording here in 2023, um, I've already booked about 90,000, okay, uh, for 2023 speaking outside of my own fight world and my own events. Super grateful for that. Um, another goal for me, all right, is to add another million dollars of one-on-one -on -one coaching with me directly in 2023. I have a six figure plus package that I work with a company for a whole year. I coach the CEO, we do performance coaching, I'll work with their top people, I'll do some virtual um, um, trainings and workshops with them throughout the course of a year. So I'm looking to add another million dollars just for my own efforts or another million and a half from the speaking and this one-on-one -on -one stuff. So guys, my point here is if a goal is not extremely challenging, um, then I consider you ditching it or really rethinking that goal, okay? So I just want my goals to be incredibly challenging. Some of you listen to um, Andy Frisella and his podcast. Um, to my knowledge, he's not specific on what his goals are, but he always says he'll never reach his goals because they're so big, all right? But, you know, and, and I think that's a good thing, all right? O overall, I think it's a good thing. Um, I mean, if I set a goal for a million bucks of something and I hit 750 or 800, I'm not a failure, okay? That's just, you know, I set it high, okay? All right, second thing I wanna talk about here um, that I've learned about being goals, be very specific. This is, I think, where a lot of people hose themselves, all right? Specificity, I can't believe I got that word out in the first try, is, um, is crucial, otherwise you're just gonna get whatever shows up. Okay. If you want to grow, you know, we'll talk painting company. If you want to grow your revenue by $500,000 this year, say you did a million this year and you want to do 1.5 in, in the next year. Okay. Get clear on exactly what types of jobs you want to do. 
what location do you want to do it gc work was it repaint work is it a certain subdivision whatever okay get specific because the more specific you are okay your brain goes into overtime trying to find evidence to make that shit happen Okay, but if I just go, I just want to grow by 500,000, I don't know what to focus on. I don't know where to put my energy. And we're going to get to that in one of these other points. So an example, instead of going, yeah, I want to grow by 500 grand this year, being specific might sound like I will add $500,000 of interior residential repaints to the company in 2023. These jobs will be in the following two subdivisions. That's specific. And now I know where to focus my energy and, um, and my daily activities and stuff like that. All right, third thing I think we're on here. All right, next thing I wanna talk about here is um, a thing that I've learned is I ignore the time frame. <laughs> okay, hang with me on this one, you guys. Um, if the goal is challenging enough, like I said earlier, who cares if you do it in 2023, okay? If it goes into the next year a little, I don't care. Yes, you need to hit your break even numbers. So my CEO, Neil, and I had a conversation not too long ago. We have a big, crazy ass goal, okay, that I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll get, I'm not going to tell you our goal because it's our goal. But we were talking, he's like, yeah, we have our, we have our monthly and quarterly targets for revenue because of what it, of to break even and make a profit and to be able to reinvest back into the company and hire people as we need and, and you know, spend more money on marketing or whatever it might be. We have those break even revenues that we need to bring in. That's, I guess, goal number one. But the real goal for us, we ignore the time frame on. Okay. So, um, example instead of setting a goal to do $3 million in top line revenue in 2023, so instead of setting a sales goal to hit a top line revenue of $3 million in 2023, um, set a goal of $10 million by the end of 2025. Okay. So take some, remember it's your goal and there's no gun to your head that I know of where you have to do this in a certain amount of time. Yes. You have to hit your certain numbers to stay in business, make a profit, but back to number one, where I said, make your goals extremely challenging. If they're challenging enough, you're probably not going to be able to do it in one year. All right. And when I do this, when we do this in the fight, it's crazy. Like if we, when we set a crazy three-year goal, it blows my mind to how much we actually accomplish in that first year. Okay. We, we actually accomplish more than we probably would have had we just set a challenging goal for that first year. All right. Just something I've learned through the, uh, through the years. All right. Next thing I want to talk about is, uh, break your goals into daily activities. Once I set a goal, I rarely ever look at it. I mean, I look at it at least weekly, but I, I don't look at it every day. Okay. Oh my God, I got to sell a million. Oh my God, I got to sell a million. So back to my speaking example I gave you. Um, I focus on the actions that I have control over each and every day that are going to move me closer to the, the thing that I want. And when I'm fanatically consistent in those th actions every day, I hit those challenging goals. So my speaking goal of a half a million in 2023, I don't have my book or I'd show you right now. I have two daily, uh, I have an, a daily action for speaking of something I have control over. So we call it a point of contact. Every single day, five days a week, I reach out to two potential companies, event planners, whatever, to just go, hey, I'm Tom. I see you got an event coming up late in the year or 2024 or whatever. I'd love to have a conversation about whoever's in charge of your speakers, okay? And see if it makes sense for me to keynote your thing or whatever. And I'm just chipping away every day at those two things, okay? Well, last I checked, let's just round it down to 300 days, 300 working days, I do that, okay? 300 times two, Logan, that's 600, isn't it? 600 at bats, 600 points of contact throughout the year. That's what I focus on. And I guarantee you, what if I, what if I have a 10% uh, conversion rate of just having a conversation of being able to get somebody on the phone? Well, that would be 60 phone calls. And I, if I, I'll tell you right now, I get 60 people, event planners, companies on the phone. Most likely I'm selling at least 50% of those. Okay. And I'm going to get to my goal, but I didn't get to my goal by going, Oh my God, there's the goal. I got to, I'm looking at the goal. No, I'm, it's like football. You just get first downs, man. 
right? Just keep moving the chains every day. Or baseball, you just get on base. Sometimes you get walked, sometimes you hit a double, sometimes you get hit by a pitch, but at least you're on base and you're just chipping away playing that small ball. To me, that's what that this, this is about breaking your goals into controllable things by you that you have, you can do each and every day. All right, the final thing I wanna share with you that I've learned about setting goals. Talk like you've achieved the goal, okay? Talk like you've achieved the goal. You're not working toward uh, that person who has the thing. You are the person who has the thing, <laughs> okay? Um, and you need to believe it. Tell yourself the truth, okay? So for example, um, I'm excited. You might say, I'm excited to be the owner of a 10 million. I'm excited to be the owner of a $10 million company instead of we're working towards being a $10 million company. It's just a little nuance in your language that you use with yourself, but what comes out of your mouth and what you think you hear back. All right. And you want to start acting like you're already there. So, um, one thing I've learned with um, like law of attraction things and, and this and that is we also need to make sure that we're telling ourselves the truth. So if you're, uh, if you set a goal to be, to have a million bucks in the bank, want to be a millionaire in 2023, let's just use that as a stupid example here, right? Uh, I want to be a millionaire. If you, um, if you do an affirmation, like I am a millionaire, I am a millionaire, like a lot of people do, I am statements, which are powerful, and then you open up your app every day and you see your bank account has got $17.86 in it, you, your, your brain is like, you're full of shit. You're not a millionaire, okay? So you wanna tell yourself a truthful statement, okay? I'm excited at the thought of being a millionaire. See the difference? It's a true statement and your brain doesn't call BS on it. I'm excited at the thought to be the owner of a $10 million company. I'm excited at the thought of adding another $500,000 of revenue from speaking events in 2023 to the fight, okay? Very slight difference in language, but for me, again, it's made all the difference. So listen, um, I know you got big plans for the year and beyond, all right? Um, take to heart some of these things. These, these are just things that worked for me, worked for me through the years. Guys, uh, get clear on this stuff. Win the moments, be consistent. Live unafraid. Keep attacking this stuff. I appreciate you. You guys rock. I got to roll. I'm out.